Well, hello guys. So today I went to Velo Village and uh, I did not buy a VCR. I bought something uh, different for a change. And uh, this is uh, something that I, I wanted to uh, get my hands on uh, because uh, I wanted to uh, like uh, see the inside and uh, how it worked. And uh, so uh, you probably noticed that it is a cassette deck. So it's a Technics double cassette deck. And uh, this uh, cassette deck has a special feature and uh, that is why I bought it. I was uh, looking for a cassette deck that has uh, that feature and uh, that, that feature is uh, motorized cassette doors. So uh, not a mechanical uh, uh, cassette door that you uh, you press the button to eject it and you push it to uh, close it. This one. You see it opens and closes automatically when you, pu when you push a button. So. Uh, with it uses a motor and I wanted to see how that mechanism worked and this is uh, something that I was hoping to find at uh, the thrift store and it seems it's uh, not very common to find because uh, well it took me a, a while of, of uh, searching to uh, find one and uh, this is not even a high-end uh, cassette deck so uh, uh, Technics model number RSTR170 uh, this is probably from the mid 1990s so probably 95-96 uh, uh, so, uh, or 98, uh, probably the same era as this uh, Technics uh, CD changer. This was a, a part of a, a setup uh, that would uh, have uh, this in it. So you will have a you will have a Technics uh, stereo receiver, a cassette deck, and a CD changer and speakers. And uh, basically, at uh, the Value Village, uh, there was uh, all the kit. So there was the receiver, the CD changer, just like the one I already had. And uh, the, there was this cassette deck, and um, the other part was uh, probably the speakers, but I did not uh, look for them because uh, uh, this is not what interests me. And uh, there was a price on, the, on the, this cassette deck, and, and it was uh, uh, $30, but uh, for uh, four uh, units. So uh, four pieces of equipment, and uh, so I did not want to pay $30. Uh, I wanted only the cassette deck, and uh, so I... I went to see an employee and told him that I wanted only the cassette deck and that I would like to have a price only for it. So uh, $10 for the cassette deck. I did not really test, test it there, I just uh, see, uh, saw if it uh, turned on and I noticed that the cassette doors uh, both opened and uh, so I went for it, I bought it. And I just uh, quickly tested it, and it seems that the, the deck 1 works, but the deck 2 does not work, and uh, we might find out later why it does not work. So this is how you load the tape in this cassette deck. Right now it's not plugged, uh, because, well, uh, uh, the sound works, I've uh, tested it, but I just I did not record uh, something on the tape yet, because uh, the deck 2 does not work, and uh, uh, this is the one that re records. Deck 1 only plays. I have nothing really interesting that is recorded on a, an audio cassette right now. So now I will press play. And it uh, only has a 3 digit uh, counter, so this is pretty low end. It does not have a real time counter like uh, some of the cassette decks uh, had at that time. So uh, other than the fact that it has a uh, motorized cassette doors, it's a pretty low end unit. Because uh, there is a YouTuber that I know uh, from Quebec, uh, his name is Mr. Cassette, and uh, this guy he is a real uh, uh, audio cassette fan. So uh, he is a fan of, of uh, cassettes, and uh, he is also a fan of uh, uh, music overall. And uh, he makes music. He's a mu musician too. And uh, he has a, a few cassette decks, and uh, he has a Technics uh, cassette deck like this. But uh, uh, the one he has is a higher end. Uh, uh, model. It is the model RSTR575 that he, he has and uh, that one uh, has more uh, like more high-end functions and it has a real-time counter in minutes and seconds and uh, so uh, uh, press stop and uh, you uh, this is an auto reverse uh, cassette deck so you don't have to uh, flip the cassette you can uh, play, play in uh, the two directions So right now it's playing uh, the track on the other side, and uh, the mechanism on the deck one seems to be fully for fully functional. So right now it's doing fast forward. It seems to work pretty well. 
rewind it. You have a counter reset button, like on VCRs. And now we will see what happens when you uh, when you put a tape and try to play it in the deck too. And also you can just uh, push it like this, similar to a CD player. It will uh, close when you just slightly push it. So I'm guessing that uh, the there is something the, like the mechanism is working. It does not even uh, like uh, raise the heads to go in play mode, so uh, the mechanism isn't activating. So there might be a bad uh, belt in it, but I don't even hear uh, like a, the noise of the like the typical noise of a motor uh, running with no belt. I'm not hearing that, so I don't know what is uh, going on uh, inside this. Would be cool. It would be cool if I could fix it. I could record some music on my on my cassette. Or I don't know if I'm going to uh, keep this cassette deck because I'm not really a, an audio cassette guy. I'm really a VCR guy, so uh, I mostly collect VCRs. It doesn't even want to eject all the way. That's pretty weird. The problem that this has. But uh, now we are going to take a look at the back side of this uh, Technics uh, double cassette deck. Something that I'm not really fond of on these uh, Technics units uh, is that they have a very short power cord. You can see uh, it's like very short compared to uh, like the average length of the power cord on my VCRs. It's longer. This one has a, a like a separate power plug, yeah. so it plugs there. My CD player also has this. But uh, the point of uh, having a short cord like this is because uh, these were meant to uh, like uh, be stored in some sort of for furniture or uh, of like audio equipment uh, uh, furniture like you have here. So they, it will be stored like uh, be below the radio here, and uh, like in uh, that type of uh, of uh, audio furniture, it will be placed uh, just uh, above or under the CD player or the 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 stereo receiver. And uh, so this is how it will be placed. So uh, now the back side. You have the model number here. And uh, you have unswitched uh, AC outlets. So usually on the receiver you had a switched outlets. So you will you would plug the the cassette deck and the CD player or the turntable uh, on it. And uh, so you could uh, switch it by turning off or on the receiver. So a pretty basic back, but the, this is what you had on cassette decks. So uh, just uh, in and out for the audio. And uh, this is it. And uh, so now I'm going to open the unit to see the inside. To see how this uh, uh, auto, uh, like this motorized cassette door mechanism works. That's going to be pretty interesting. So now let's do that. So right now the unit is open with the top cover off. And... Uh, it's pretty uh, blank inside, uh, like, uh, use you, like you usually have uh, in cassette decks. It's usually made like that. And uh, I'm guessing that it was uh, from 95, like I guessed. You have a date, a date here, and uh, you also have it written here on this motor. So it's written in uh, Gen 95. So uh, here S1, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it stands for. You also have it written on the other deck here. And uh, so you've got a pretty uh, pretty complex mechanism here. There are two motors, so there's this one and uh, the other one here. And so this is what happens when you uh, press the eject button. I'm just going to uh, show it to you from another angle. Pretty interesting. You have a gear here that turns.
and so this is what I wanted to see uh, how this worked. And there uh, you have this motor that turns. So uh, I will load the tape in. Now stop and play again. And when you look at it uh, from this angle, there is not a lot to see, just uh, mostly circuit boards. And uh, on a more basic cassette decks, which uh, did not have the motorized door, uh, you did not have uh, usually a circuit board like uh, here on the back. Yeah. So this is probably because there were like a uh, more uh, complex electronics uh, in it. Just uh, here on the top side, you can uh, see uh, this motor here turning. And uh, so it uses the same motor for driving the tape, then uh, from for uh, opening the the cassette door. And uh, so that is quite interesting. And uh, the other motor here is the capstan motor, so it only drives the capstan. And it uses uh, one belt. So it uses a flat belt, which I don't know if this is the the only belt in this tape mechanism. Now I will press fast forward. Rewind. So this is pretty cool to see, but uh, I don't think it's really gonna be really worth keeping. So the deck 2 uses the same exact tape deck, and uh, this one can record what the, the other one can only play. So I just press play and it is not activating. And uh, so uh, on this mechanism here, you have a little solenoid here, and this, this is uh, this seems to be what uh, drives the mechanism, like uh, th what makes it uh, uh, raise the heads so they can be in contact with the tape. And uh, so this solenoid here, it seems to be defective because it uh, it uh, will normally uh, activate when you uh, press the functions, like to raise the heads. And uh, here it is not activating. I do not know if this is a common fault on this uh, on these tape decks, but uh, this is nothing I can fix. I don't. I, at least I think I tried to uh, move it by hand, but uh, it won't activate. So maybe the core is open. Uh, but uh, if it's the case, I really don't know how uh, how to fix it. And uh, here you have uh, knobs, and uh, here you only have one. So I'm assuming that one of the two is like uh, for uh, controlling the uh, motor uh, speed like you have I think it uh, in uh, most cassette decks and uh, I don't know what the other one uh, does on this I do not know much about uh, audio cassette decks because like I said I'm more like a VCR guy like a video cassette And so uh, if this could work, I could uh, record tapes, but uh, it doesn't, so uh, I might uh, donate this uh, cassette deck to the thrift store or I uh, try to sell it. I'll see what I'll do, but I don't think some anybody will buy it uh, since it's uh, defective. So I don't know what I will do with it. So it was pretty cool to see the inside of it and uh, how that mechanism works, but uh, it isn't really worth keeping and uh, so... Uh, I'm not going to keep this unit and uh, if for some reason uh, somebody wants it and uh, wants to have it like for the price of the shipping well uh, I can I can uh, sh ship it to you or if you want to uh, come to uh, Quebec City or if you are able to come to Quebec City well uh, you can have this uh, cassette deck I'm not keeping it